Yes. So this is something that I have found a special interest in. That's why it's my little niche in dry eye and blepharitis and ocular rosacea. So very interestingly, I feel like not a lot of treatments had existed up until recently. And now there's a lot of focus on dry eye and ocular rosacea and how can we help patients with these conditions because they're so common and not only do they impact quality of life, but they can actually cause permanent vision loss if they get extreme. So we're talking end of the spectrum of having mild symptoms and discomfort and dry eye to corneal scarring and vision loss and perforation. So there is a big spectrum, but it is a big condition and it's very common and it really impacts our patients. So there's been a lot more focus on trying to find ways to treat it. So the original treatments are, okay, so we've got clogged up oil glands. What are we going to do to help open those oil glands and improve the tear foam? So that's really where the old school hot compresses and lid scrubs like baby shampoo um, came from. I prefer um, for doing that type of lid routine. I like doing hot compresses, but then using a commercial grade lid cleanser like OxySoft is actually what I recommend to my patients and what we, we provide in our office um, to kind of open up the glands and then remove some of that debris, cut back on some of the bacteria that we tend to hyperreact to in rosacea. And also specifically with the tea tree oil type products and the OxySoft allergy and the OUST brand that um, I like to recommend for my patients helps cut down on the Demodex mites, which um, recently we've been focusing quite a bit more on that tend to be present in ocular rosacea and also tend to worsen ocular rosacea. So if we can cut down on some of the bacteria and the mites, then we can really help some of that inflammation in the glands.